My name is Ken Estelle, and I'm the CEO of Feeding America West Michigan Food Bank. And I want to thank you for joining the effort to solve hunger in our community. Every year, Feeding America West Michigan serves over a half a million people through the Lower Peninsula and Upper Peninsula. Whether you're a donor or a volunteer, you're part of that story, and we appreciate your effort here today. Every hour that you spend volunteering here at the food bank provides 150 meals to families in need. And I want to thank you for providing your talents and your time to serve the community that we live. At its most basic, food banking is about rescuing good surplus food before it goes to waste and getting it to people who need it most. This reduces pollution, saves money for our food donors, and most importantly, helps vulnerable kids, adults, and seniors lead healthy, fulfilling lives. Being in Michigan, we have access to hundreds of farmers, retailers, and food processors who are willing to share their surplus food with us. Once we've gathered that food into our main warehouse in Comstock Park, we send it to our branches throughout West Michigan and the Upper Peninsula. From there, it goes to our network of food pantries, community kitchens, after-school programs, and senior centers where it's enjoyed by people in need because so much of the healthiest foods, like fresh fruits, vegetables, dairy products, and baked goods, have a short shelf life, we have to get them into the community quickly. That's where our mobile pantry program comes in. Our mobile pantries bring this fresh food directly to the communities where it's needed most. It's not unusual for a load of potatoes or squash to be donated in the morning and end up in a family's dinner table that same night. Right now, about 15% of our food needs to be handled before it can be sent to our clients. That happens in our reclamation department, which is where most of our volunteers are needed. Here, volunteers repack bulk donations like cereal into smaller family-sized portions. They clean and inspect fresh produce like carrots and cabbage and potatoes, and they sort mixed donations that come in from grocery stores. I hope it's clear how much we depend on people like you to make this food bank work. Whether you're donating your time or your money or food, it's all part of solving hunger in our community. And again, thank you for what you're doing to solve hunger and to help our neighbors in need.